Okay, so we're trying to find the energies. We know that the equation for the energies is given by h squared over 8ml squared n squared. And in this case, the length of our well is 1 angstrom, which is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 10 meters. So let's start by substituting in. We've got h squared, that's 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 squared over 8 times the mass, and in this case it's an electron which is trapped, so this is the mass of the electron, 9.109 .09 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms times L squared, which is 1.0 times 10 to the minus 10 squared, and then that's N squared. So solving this on the calculator, we end up with 6.02 times 10 to the minus 18 N squared. But we want our answer in electron volts, so to get to electron volts, we divide by E, which is equal to 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19. So when we do that, we end up with 37.6 N squared electron volts. Okay, now we need to solve this for the first five levels. So we're going to be substituting in for N. So E1, that's equal to 37.6 times 1, which is equal to 37.6 electron volts. But we should just give it to two significant figures, as L is only given to two significant figures. So this is 38 electron volts. E2 is equal to 37.6 times 2 squared, which is equal to 150 0.4 electron volts, which is 150 electron volts to two significant figures. E3, that's 37.6 times 3 squared, which is 9. So solving that, we get 340 electron volts. E4 is equal to 37.6 times 16, which gives us 600 electron volts. E5, that's equal to 37.6 times 25 which gives us 940 electron volts. So we've worked out what each of these energies are now for the first five levels.